Hi! Clips came out with an update, version 3.0, and today I'm going to teach you how to whip together a quick art lesson with clips. So let's go ahead and open clips. This is your project library. These are all the different projects that I've already started. But let's go ahead and start a new project. When you click on the new project, it activates the front-facing camera. From here on, we can actually choose the size of our clips on the upper right side. Here, we can choose to either make our video 16.9, which is a video you can put on YouTube, 4.3, which is a video you can use um, in an Insta story or Facebook story, or a square, which is something that you can post on Instagram. Let's go ahead and start with the 16.9. In order for us to record a video, we start by tapping on the record button. Now we can either hold it down or press and swipe it to the left or up in order for us to start recording. So let me now start with my introduction video. Hi everybody! Today we will be learning about an abstract artist called Jackson Pollock. After recording that video, you can see down here there is a new clip. I think that's why it's called Clips. You can tap onto this clip and edit it. If I play it, you will actually hear... Swipe it to the left or... Okay, I want to get rid of that first part. So I will tap on it, make sure that it there's a white line around it, and then go to trim. So right here, we can scrub the video by just running our fingers through the video like this. And we can trim the video by moving in the yellow edges. So let's find that part that we want to start with. Okay, and the end, there. Tap on trim, and takes you out here. So let's play it. Hi everybody! Today we will be learning about an abstract artist called... And I want to stop it right there. The reason why is I want to split that clip. So when I split that clip, it will ask me to affirm if this is the exact spot I want to split. I can still scrub it. Um, or I can play it, just to be sure. Abstract artist called Jackson Pollock. Okay, so I'll go back. Jackson and Pollock. I want to stop right before um, I say his name. Jackson Pollock. Okay, I kind of found it. There you go, and I can tap on split. The reason why is I want his name to pop out when I say it. And that is an effect that we call text. So tap on the effects, and here in the effects, it brings out different options. You can use the Memoji or the Animoji feature. You can add a filter, like here. So these are all the filters available. You can um, activate the live titles, which work like subtitles. You can use the scene, add a text, add a sticker, or add an emoji. So let's go back to add a text. It's important to note that all of these stickers have to be downloaded from the cloud. So once you've already used them before, you don't have to download them. Apparently, they've used this before, so we don't see the download feature. In order for me to edit this text, double tap or tap once and click tap on edit. And then you can go ahead and just put your artist's name. So, something that you must know is if I play this video, check out what happens to the sticker. Jackson Pollock. It's actually moving, right? Right. The reason why is because it's a feature called face tracking. So, it's tracking the movement of my face. In order for the sticker to stay in place, you want to disable tracking. So, let's disable it and review our clip one more time. Jackson Pollock much better so you can see that this is now not moving now let's add a picture so i want to exit and go to done hi we will now add a picture so you want to go over here we can add a picture by tapping on photos right here under effects so this is what brings out your photo options from photos it actually activates your photo library you can choose photos or you could also choose posters. I'll show you what posters does after. So here, I'm going to bring in some posters that I saved of the artist. And as you can tell, it stretched the picture out to the size of the screen. 
but you can also use two fingers to squeeze in or out to move the picture and you can do that but at the same time and record so I'm going to click on the record button hands-free and I'm going to manipulate the picture this is Jackson Pollock he is an American born artist okay there again we see now the new clip that we've recorded if I tap it you will also notice now that there is a mute button and it is apparently on mute. I would like to unmute it so that you can hear my um, narration. If I tap it, then hands free and I'm going to... Let's edit it one more time by going on to trim, moving the sides, and tapping on play just to see. This is Jackson Pollock. He's an American-born artist on the floor. Okay, trim. There you go. So I have now these three things and we can review them. Hi everybody! Today we will be learning about an abstract artist called Jackson Pollock. This is Jackson Pollock. He is an American-born artist and he started painting by laying canvas on the floor. There seems to be something lacking on the video and that's like a cool intro. And we can do that by adding a poster. So move over here where we brought up the picture, tap on it. Posters, here are the different types of posters. So again, every asset that we can bring up from clips lives on the cloud. Therefore, we have to be able to make sure that they can download. So if you're not working with any internet, you might not be able to use any of the assets unless you've pre-downloaded them before you went offline. Now, let's use this. Oh, see? No internet connection. Okay, so now that I connected myself to the internet I can now tap on this and see what will happen it will download the asset here is how it will look like on your screen we can again the nice thing about the posters is you can type and edit the poster words so let's type out our text and now if we click on record again it's not yet part of our timeline. So in order for it to get into our timeline, we have to record it into our timelines. Swipe left for hands-free or press hold. Okay, so I like that. That seems to add um, something really cool. Now, something that you need to know about clips is they don't permanently belong where they are. I mean in their order. So you can tap onto a clip and drag it in between apps to change the order. So I want to move it right here. Let's add now one more video. Go back here to the photo library, go to photos, and then we can click on a video that I grabbed from YouTube. You don't have to record from the very beginning of the clip. Drag the video to scrub it so you know exactly where you would like to start. So let's start there. Again, it's not part of our timeline yet. We have to record it in. So if you would like to add narration on top of it, you can narrate while it's recording. These are a couple of Jackson Pollock's work. As you can tell, he likes using the technique of splattering, spilling, and dripping paint on a canvas. That's why it's important that he lays his canvas or any material he paints on, on the floor. Some of his works can be seen in famous galleries all over the world. Okay, so we can edit that by tapping onto the clip, going on to trim, and review. These are a couple of Jackson Pollock's work. Now, it's important to also take note of um, the duration where you want to stop. So I paid attention earlier and I want this to stop at 14.3. So we're going to move it at 14.3 and we will... Also, if you notice, there was music playing behind the video. I'm going to show you what happens when I mute the recorded audio. All you will hear should be the music that comes from the video, the original video. Right? I could also keep the option of muting the original video and unmuting the recorded audio. As you can tell, he likes using the technique of splattering, spilling, and dripping paint on a canvas. That's why it's Okay, so that's great, right? Now let's go ahead and show you one more thing that you can do with clips. And that is to add our animojis. 
go to your effects bar, which is the star, and we're gonna tap onto any of these animojis that I've pre-created, the different personas, or the animals. So let's say I want to be this artsy fartsy emoji. Okay, there you go. Hi. Something to remember is this feature is only on devices that have the face tracking available. So that would be the iPhone 10 and up and any of the iPads that have the face ID. Now, I can record it or I can also add a filter. So if you are like me and I don't really like showing my real face, I can add a filter like this in the cartoon. Let's record. Now let's get to know Jackson Pollock a little better. Are you ready for your lesson? I can apply that same filter to all the other videos. So I could just tap on the video and change the effect right here, which is not so nice. I can try to see if I could still attach that face. Yep. Okay, here. Add that. So now it looks like I created a cartoon all on my own. Before I export this project, I would like now to add some music. Go up here on the right side and tap on the note. The nice thing about the soundtracks is you don't have to be worried about having the permission or being flagged for using music that you did not, you don't have copyright for. All of this are free of, for, for you to use. So you can tap on anything. Okay, let's, let's click on that. And the nice thing here, if you notice also, the song will automatically fit to however long your video is. So we click on done and let's check out our whole video. Hi everybody! Today we will be learning about an abstract artist called Jackson Pollock. Press hold. Okay, so something I don't want to do is I don't want this to have any audio. Let's do it one more time. Something nice about the music is that it automatically ducks the sound. When you say duck, um, it makes the sound go lower when it hears a narration. If you're already happy with your video, you can export it by tapping on the share button. And you have a couple of options here. You can share it directly to friends. You can send it as a message. It'll send as um, an, a .mov file. You can export it to other different apps. But for now, we can just simply save it and it saves directly onto our photo library. There you go. Let's now jump over to our library and watch our video. Hi everybody! Today we will be learning about an abstract artist called Jackson Pollock. This is Jackson Pollock. He is an American-born artist, and he started painting by laying canvas on the floor. These are a couple of Jackson Pollock's work. As you can tell, he likes using the technique of splattering, spilling, and dripping paint on a canvas. That's why it's important that he lays his canvas, or any material he paints on, on the floor. Now let's get to know Jackson Pollock a little better. Are you ready for your lesson? Now, you try.